Databricks, a powerhouse in the tech industry with an astonishing annual recurring revenue exceeding $1 billion. Databricks has swiftly ascended to the ranks of the world's foremost private companies. Databricks announcing a $1.3 billion deal to acquire a generative AI platform Mosaic ML. Its meteoric rise coincides with a monumental wave of artificial intelligence, cementing its position at the forefront of innovation. Databricks IPO promises to be one of the most talked about IPOs in history. However, there's more to Databricks than meets the eye. Join us as we dive into the remarkable journey of this technology titan. This is the captivating story of Databricks. For this fascinating story of Databricks, we must first dive into the life of its founder and current CEO, Ali Ghazi. Born in the tumultuous year of 1978 in war-torn Iran, Ali's family, once a part of the upper class, was compelled to leave their wealth behind and seek refuge in Sweden, a nation that extended them visas and sanctuary amidst the Iran-Iraq conflict. As a young child, Ali's curiosity was piqued by an old and alien Commodore 64, equipped with a malfunctioning tape recorder that rendered gaming impossible. Undeterred, the resourceful Ali unearthed manuals and embarked on a self-taught coding journey. By the time he reached college, his childhood hobby had turned into an all-consuming passion. His insatiable quest for knowledge led him to earn a doctorate in the realm of completely decentralized systems, the precursors to the revolutionary concept that we now know as Bitcoin. In 2009, a 30-year-old Ali Ghazi embarked on a journey to the United States as a visiting scholar at UC Berkeley. It was during this period that Ghazi's remarkable talent secured him a series of extraordinary ability visas, enabling him to remain in the United States. While at Berkeley, he crossed paths with Matei Zaharia, a 24-year-old PhD student, and together they embarked on a groundbreaking project, the creation of a data processing software engine named Spark. Their vision was to replicate the data handling capabilities of tech giants like Google and Facebook, but with a simpler and more accessible interface. The birth of Spark open source project marked a turning point in the world of data analysis and transformation. Prior to Spark, companies were shackled by the complexities of technologies like Hadoop, MapReduce, and Hive when dealing with large data volumes for the first time. It was at that time that Netflix's machine learning team recognized these limitations while trying to develop predictive models for movie recommendations based on ratings and preferences by their users. It was for this reason that Netflix initiated an open competition to see who could come up with a solution for this problem. The Spark team jumped at the chance and quickly emerged as the solution to Netflix's data problems. In the process, they set a world record for data sorting speed, earning Matei Zaharia an award for the best computer science dissertation of the year. Despite these accomplishments, Spark faced initial skepticism from the tech community. They became reluctant to embrace yet another open source project. Their altruistic offer to provide the software for free was met with astonishment, with potential technology partner adopters insisting on paying for a service if they were going to adopt it. In response, the team realized that building a company was the key to sharing this transformative technology with the world. In 2013, Databricks was born. The innovative venture was brought to life by a formidable team of seven co-founders, six of whom held PhDs in computer science. Many of these brilliant minds had previously collaborated in the Artificial Intelligence Research Lab at UC Berkeley, where they laid the groundwork for the groundbreaking Spark project. Among the visionary co-founders were Asalan Tabakoli, who would later lead field engineering, Ion Stoika, the original CEO and now executive chairman, Andy Kowinski, who assumed the role of vice president of product management, Reynold Shin, the mastermind behind the role of chief software architect, Patrick Wendell, who took charge as Vice President of Engineering, Ali Godzi, the current Databricks CEO, and Matei Zaharia, the Chief Technologist. Initially, Databricks began as a data lake designed to support the open source Spark project, but it didn't stop there. Over time, it evolved into a comprehensive platform, now known for its Databricks marketplace, encompassing data storage and solidifying its position as a data lake house. Now, Let's take a moment to explore Databricks' early financial journey. The source of their first funding may seem like a tale straight out of Silicon Valley lore. Renowned venture capitalist Andreessen Horowitz, fashionably arriving an hour late to their Berkeley meeting, attributed the delay to traffic. In a twist of fate, he informed the Databricks team that he wouldn't negotiate with them. Instead, he proposed a one-time take-it-or-leave-it offer. 
Doffer was a staggering $14 million in capital at a valuation close to $50 million. The Databricks team initially seeking a modest seed round couldn't resist this unexpectedly generous offer. In interviews, the company's founders admitted they once had visions of eventually selling the company for $100 or $200 million. Little did they know that Databricks would later boast a staggering market valuation of $38 billion, attracting an impressive client list that includes titans like Salesforce, Viacom, Shell, HP, and many others. In its nascent days, Databricks was steadfast in its mission to create a platform that simplified the intricate setup required for companies to harness the formidable Spark technology stack. They aim to provide seamless onboarding support for this revolutionary data management technology. Yet despite their technical prowess, the Databricks team found themselves in a quandary. Progress towards finding the right market approach was slow and larger players such as Amazon Web Services and Cloudera were racing ahead by integrating Spark into their own product offerings. Databricks then entered into a phase where it was consistently grappling with challenges in attracting customers. In a bold move, the team decided to place their trust in Godsey, promoting him to the position of CEO with a one-year trial period. It was a risky gamble as some board members believed that bringing in a professional CEO with extensive sales and go-to-market experience was the way forward. Nevertheless, the board opted for a trial run before considering external alternatives. With the mantle of leadership now on his shoulders, Gotzi wasted no time in implementing a series of transformative measures upon taking the CEO role in January 2016. Firstly, he bolstered the sales force with individuals well-versed in pitching to enterprise chief information officers. Secondly, he assembled a top-tier C-suite composed of seasoned professionals who had navigated similar company waters before. Thirdly, he set out to create proprietary elements within the software, giving the sales team exclusive offerings to promote. At the time, the technology was widely open source and Databricks needed distinctive features that would set them apart in a crowded landscape. With these changes in place, the newly evolved Databricks platform quickly garnered attention as it harnessed the core Spark engine more effectively than its imitators. What set Databricks apart was that its founders were the very architects of Spark itself. They were not only building upon it, but also integrating cutting edge features into Databricks long before they became public. The strategic advantage allowed the team to maintain a forward thinking edge, perpetually staying one or two years ahead of the competition. Sales took off rapidly, surging to $12 million by 2016. The newfound success left no doubt that Ali should continue as CEO moving forward. With this in place, Databricks then embarked on a series of astute business moves. One such pivotal moment was a Microsoft partnership culminating in Azure Databricks. This collaboration not only signaled Databricks' emergence as a formidable player in the Silicon Valley burgeoning data tech landscape, but also solidified its position with enterprise customers. But Databricks' ambitions didn't stop at Spark. In 2018, they introduced MLflow to officially manage machine learning projects, and just a year later, they unveiled Delta Lake, a transformative technology that converts existing data lakes into dynamic lake houses, sparing companies from starting anew. Both innovations enjoyed resounding success. Amidst this wave of triumphs, Databricks poised itself for an IPO in 2021. However, due to the prevailing market conditions, the team chose to postpone the IPO and instead secured a monumental $1 billion funding round from private markets. Despite achieving unprecedented success, Databricks faces a multitude of challenges. Its competitive landscape has grown fiercer, with competitors racing to develop innovative products. One of the most captivating Silicon Valley rivalries to watch is the escalating battle for data supremacy between Databricks and Snowflake. Snowflake, Databricks' foremost rival, stole the IPO spotlight in 2020 by raising a staggering $3.4 billion in a public offering, surpassing Databricks' IPO timeline. These two tech giants share an intricate relationship. Curiously enough, these two massive technology giants even schedule their massive annual conferences on the same day. These conferences draw thousands of developers, almost a symbolic declaration of war. To grasp the contrast between Snowflake and Databricks, one must comprehend the promise of AI. A common misconception amongst executives is the belief that one can easily deploy AI on their data and instantly reap rewards. In reality, Crafting an AI model that effectively delivers business value is a meticulous process involving data gathering, cleansing, and preparation before operationalizing the model. Snowflake and Databricks have carved out value in different layers of this intricate process. Snowflake takes on the challenge from data storage to data engineering. 
including implementing rigorous security and legal policies on data. In contrast, Databricks has historically focused on the steps from data modeling to operationalizing data models. Both companies share a common vision, the one data platform to rule them all. It's evident that both aspire to become the single big data platform for modern enterprises. Snowflake's position is that of a data cloud, and Databricks promotes its platform as the data lakehouse, with the goal of enabling every customer to store and utilize as much data as possible within a unified platform. In recent years, both Snowflake and Databricks have strategically aligned their product portfolios to compete more closely with each other. While their products have grown increasingly similar, one key difference remains. Snowflake is a publicly traded company, while Databricks, though poised for a potentially historic IPO in 2024, remains private. Databricks is leaving no stone unturned in its bid to lead the AI race. Recent product launches and integrations, including the release of Dolly, an open source language learning model, underscore this commitment. While Dolly is not without its flaws, it strategically positions Databricks to attract developers who can leverage the ecosystem it provides. Delving even deeper, Dolly is fully open source, encompassing the training code, dataset, model weights, all available for easy commercial use. This means organizations can create, customize, and own powerful LLMs that can interact with users without relying on third-party APIs or data sharing. However, Databricks' ambitions in the AI space extend beyond Dolly. In a move that generated significant buzz, Databricks announced its intent to dominate the AI space with a bold $1.3 billion acquisition of Mosaic ML. Mosaic ML swiftly rose to prominence in the generative AI arena, making it one of the most intriguing startups in the field. This acquisition is a pitiful component of Databricks' broader strategy to harness data for AI applications within its ecosystem. Databricks has positioned itself as one of the largest private companies in the world. With an IPO looming and increasing competition, there's more to the story yet to come. Is Databricks poised to join the ranks of the Silicon Valley elites? Will it scale and dominate the data space despite its competition and become the one data platform to rule them all? Let me know in the comments your thoughts.